Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video, and in today's video we're going to be going over some Supergirl Season 4 leaks, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, and turn on notifications so you don't miss any videos over the summer. So, yeah, my channel's been hit pretty hard with copyright strikes and everything like that, and that basically has restricted a lot of my views, so it would really mean a lot if you guys could share the video around and share all the videos to all your fellow Supergirl fans or fellow Flash fans or anything like that. That would mean so much to me. Plus, also, I have a Patreon and I'm going to be doing lots more on my Patreon in the coming weeks once I do get home, finally, and I'm very excited to be posting exclusive reactions for those who help contribute towards the channel. So thank you guys so much for watching and let's get into this. So sorry for that little announcement segment, but it had to be done. So this is all via a source, which I won't name in the video, but you can check it out in the description below. And I've used this source many times in the past. And so we have a range of leaks and we're gonna be going over all those leaks via that source. And so here we go. So the first piece of information is that the Red Daughter will have a little tiny bit to do with episode 1 and she will barely be in episode 1, episode 2, episode 3, episode 4 because I think they've only done the first 5 scripts officially and they've released those so that's why we don't know past then but it's been heavily speculated that she's going to be the main villain of the entire season and the source does think that it's leading all towards that and that Agent Liberty is going to be most likely a temporary villain for the start and the Red Daughter storyline is going to overtake. As it was said at Comic Con, she will be implemented later into the back half of the season and towards the end of the first half, so obviously heading towards the crossover just before then, she, we're probably gonna see some more stuff around episode seven or eight around there. So expect a little bit to do with Red Daughter in episode one, but like a tiny wincy incy bit. So don't get too excited for that. So the next piece of information is massive and this is that Manchester Black, who is a villain in the comics, will be the opposite of a villain according to the source and I paraphrase them on that. And so from that I can infer that he's not going to be a villain, that he is in fact going to be a hero. And as we've seen from behind the scenes photos, which I won't include in this because I've used it in so many other videos, we can see he's actually on set and he's played by David Ajala and he was in The Dark Knight, he's in lots of things and I'm really excited for him. But in the comics, Manchester Black is a villain, so maybe he's going to be more of a hero or like an anti-hero at the start and he will turn into a hero, but that's a massive difference from the comics, so that is really interesting. So the next thing is in regards to the new transgender superhero played by Nicole Maines, that being Nia Now, aka Dreamer, and I asked the source, Will we be getting anything to do with her powers and her becoming a superhero in the first five episodes or so? And so, according to them, we will see some of her powers manifest and there will be no suit within the first five episodes or so. So we'll get a little teaser of what's to come of her character. I'm sure Kara's going to train her throughout the back half and I think she's going to be a bigger thing in regards to her dreamer part of her character going into the back half of the season. So the next thing is that Kara will still wear and use the Legion Ring that Monel gave her at the end of Season 3, so it's going to be very useful. We know she's going to be using it in those first five episodes. She's going to still be wearing it, so that's going to be really awesome according to the scripts. Obviously, they haven't shot any Melissa scenes yet. They've only done the stunt double scenes and everyone else's scenes because Melissa's still on Broadway right now, and definitely go check it out if you guys are around New York. So the final piece of information that they revealed was that Jean is going to be doing his own thing, at the start of the season and is not really going to be involved in what's going on with Kara and everyone at the start of the season. I think they will mingle more towards the back half of the season but they want to explore the idea of him being on the ground being more like his father so that is an interesting thing we'll see how it goes but I'm really excited according to all these rumors everything sounding pretty good because I would be kind of upset if Agent Liberty was going to be the main villain and I'm very excited for the Red Daughter stuff so it really is quite promising that we're going to be seeing her quite a lot in the back half and most likely she's going to be the main villain of season 4. So anyway guys, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys later, goodbye. It